The Schwellenflug, also known as the sleeper plough or rail wolf, was one of the most unique and destructive tools developed during World War II. Created by the German forces in 1942, this massive rail plough was designed with a single grim purpose to render rail lines unusable during retreats. As German forces faced the threat of advancing Allied and Soviet troops, they enacted a scorched earth policy using the Schwellenflug to destroy key infrastructure and hinder enemy supply routes. Imagine the Schwellenflug in action, a powerful steel hook attached to a locomotive, poised above the tracks. Once deployed, the hook was lowered directly onto the rail tearing up the wooden sleepers and twisting the steel rails completely out of alignment. Moving at 7 to 10 kilometers per hour, the plough effectively ripped apart everything in its path, making the tracks impassable. It took only minutes to set up and required a team of 10 to operate, but the devastation it left behind would take weeks or even months to repair. The device was part of Germany's broader strategy to slow the Allied advance by obliterating crucial supply lines. By destroying railways, the Schwellenflug also meant Allied forces would struggle to transport troops, ammunition and food efficiently across the recaptured territories. Its impact was so complete that, on average, it damaged up to 100% of wooden sleepers, 70-93% to of steel rails and up to 30% of the track bonding, effectively crippling rail networks and forcing the enemy to spend valuable resources on reconstruction efforts. The Schwellenflug was particularly useful on the Eastern Front, where German forces had previously adapted Soviet railways for their own use by modifying the gauge of the tracks. However, as defeat loomed, the same tracks were destroyed by the Schwellenflug as part of a bitter retreat. With its hook carving a path through railways, the Railwolf became a haunting symbol of Germany's scorched earth tactics and the extent to which the Nazis would go to prevent enemy forces from using captured infrastructure. Today, remnants of the Schwellenflug still exist in museums, standing as a reminder of the destructive ingenuity employed in wartime. This machine, brutal yet efficient, reflects the lengths taken during World War II to control movement and disrupt operations a grim chapter in railway and military history.